They communicate via email. He don't be texting, he don't be calling, he just emails. Weird. Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Anastasia the Black Bookworm. If that hair was in my face in the other video I recorded, oh well. Anywho, <laughs> I'm Anastasia the Black Bookworm and today I am, you're gonna see that I've been deviating. I, I just bragged about how much I've been reading for my TBR, which I have been, but it's not like a strict like only read this, not like, read that. So I don't know if deviating is the right word. But you'll see how I just, I just need to talk to y'all. We just need to have a chat. Can we do that? Can y'all pull up a chair and chat with me? Because I have words. <sighs> okay, so when I started getting into reading and watching like YouTubers and booktubers, um, I heard a lot about a certain series by Kate Stewart, which you may have heard of it. It's the Ravenhood series and I was intrigued because nobody could really tell me anything about it. It was very much like mm, you read the books, you read the first one, you won't know what's going on. Then the second and third one kind of like bring you up to speed and you figure it all out. And so I downloaded Flock, which is the first book in the series a very long time ago, some months ago, and I just sat in my KU library. And then one day I asked on Instagram for people who would want somebody to read some smut. And shout out to Jasmine, who we've already done a buddy read together. We read The Vanishing Half. Um, but she was like, yes, I'm down. You know I'm down, just name the book. And so I was like, all right, we'll read Flock. And she's like, what's it about? I said, girl, I don't know. <laughs> I sent her the little link on Goodreads and I was like, I have no clue, but I just heard so much about this book. Let's just, this will be the book that we do. You know, if you're okay with that. And she was okay with that. And so we started reading it. And let me tell y'all, I don't know what's going on. And I just feel like I need to talk to somebody about it. And I said that like, I have not talked to Jasmine about this. I don't know how many times. Um... I think we I think the first buddy read that we did I think it took like maybe four or five days to read The Vanishing Half like we took our time if you haven't read The Vanishing Half it's it's a very deep book so we like discuss things so thoroughly and oh my gosh this experience if you have never buddy read before definitely do it it's fun um but if you've not buddy read smut <laughs> please do you are missing out please do that this has been the most fun I've had reading ever um and I don't know what these books are about we finished flock this morning and we've already started exodus um <laughs> and we're just lost <laughs> um so let me tell y'all a little bit of what flock is about I don't want to spoil it I'm not gonna spoil it. You just have, um, you have Cecilia who just graduated high school. She moves to live with her estranged father after eight years of silence and distance. Um, and she goes to work at his company for a year because he's like, if you want this inheritance, we, you just gotta do this and then you can have it. And she's like, does not want anything to do with his money. However, she's trying to take care of her mom who lost her mind um I, I don't really understand why I think she just kind of reached her breaking point as a single parent and with having like men in and out of her life and like going from this used to be really fun loving person to I don't know I guess she's just tired responsibility life I don't know but she lost her mind and Cecilia like feels bad for her so she's like yeah I'll go live with Roman her dad who she calls sir which that shows you the distance that they have and they communicate via email he don't be texting he don't be calling he just emails weird um and so you just follow her to triple falls which is where he lives and the first book is like what like 
the three months, the summer that she's there. The prologue is like really cryptic and eerie. And um, you realize, she's like, I just have to go back to my past. Like, I don't know. She's talking about how she was engaged and she just broke it off with her fiance and like just got in the car and drove. Um, and so now you don't know like who she's driving to. You just know she's going back to this place. So then the first chapter starts in the past and you just meet all these characters. Um, I'm gonna just say the ones that I think are the most important from reading book one. Uh, you meet Sean, who you meet him at her orientation for work where she stands up and like introduces herself and says that she's the boss's kid, but like she's not there to spy on them. And um, she won't tell on them if they like take extra long cigarette breaks or like have a quickie somewhere. And like, you know, she's trying to be like the cool, I don't know. She's just like trying to be the cool person that's like, hey, like I, I already know. Like, yes, the CEO is my dad, but I'm not on that. Like, that's not that's not what this is about. And them folks don't one. They're just like, OK. Mm -hmm. But two, you learn later that them folks are not like her daddy at all. So like that was the worst thing that she could have done for herself. Like, yeah, they would have found out anyways. I don't know, I just feel like it was just, I don't know, bad and bad. If she don't tell, then they gonna find out and be like, oh, so you was trying to lie. But since she did tell, it's like, oh my gosh, we don't like you already. But the second person that stands up is Sean. And um, that's how they meet. He invites her to go hang out with him for the night. She goes and she, it's like at a party at his house. And she's like super intrigued by this guy named Tyler um who just got back from duty active duty he's in the marines and dominic and yeah <laughs> so i don't you just see you see her interacting with all of them and what that looks like i say interacting loosely because some people in this book want to be like stone cold and hard walls and not talk to nobody so interacting in the sense of sharing a space um but i don't know what i just read i really don't i'm gonna inform y'all like as i continue to read these books because i i just want y'all to see my raw reaction to like what's happening i'm not gonna report a vlog because I don't have like the time to sit down and like dedicate a lot of time slots to reading and like recording it because y'all know mom life. But I just, when I finish the books, I just want to come here and be like, okay, y'all, I still don't know what I read, but I'm gonna keep reading. So if I, do I have any predictions? Would I recommend this book? And, um, what did I rate the book? Firstly, we'll just get the rating out of the way. I gave it four stars only because of the experience that I had reading it. I have no clue what I read. And so I didn't feel, I didn't feel, um, I didn't feel good rating it because I was like, I have no idea what I read. So I don't want to just go in there and be like, I'm pissed because this didn't make no sense. So two stars, like I don't want to rate it out of anger. Um, and maybe once I finish the series, I'll realize like, uh, this was actually genius and I want to give it five stars. Then I'll go back or I'll finish the series and be like, you know what? This book was kind of trash. And if that's the case, I'll just leave the four stars where it's at. Um, cause I don't want to like bring the ratings down out of like malice or anything like that. Um, Would I recommend the book? Yeah. Only because of the experience that I have reading it. I would recommend that if you're going to read this book, buddy read it with somebody that's funny. I understand how like big of a chance that is like, uh, how are you going to find that person who like one has the time to read, loves to read as much as you do and is funny? 
with their reactions and wants to buddy read i don't know but do it because it's worth it i'm having the time of my life reading this book well these books um so i'd say yeah i recommend it and we can just all be lost together and we can just we can just come gather it'd be like a little book club we just gather and like be lost but together lastly do I have predictions? I do. And I just realized that if I give them to you, then I'll be like spoiling the book. So I can't really fully give you these predictions. I'm just going to say that we are meeting a host of other characters. And I hope that they are here to stay. Um, it is very, the book is very like full of spice and smut so if you like that check it out um i don't i don't when i read i don't really have that many triggers so i i will say check trigger warnings because i don't know what might trigger other people um for me personally i didn't have anything that was like oh my gosh i can't read this um but you know you never know some people might so just check triggers because you might find something in there that you don't need to um, encounter. So I would keep that in mind. I wish this video could be more like, I don't know, concrete and explain exactly what I'm reading, but it's not because I don't know what I'm reading. <laughs> and maybe once I finish reading and I come back and tell y'all about the last book and my experience, I can be like, oh, okay, so this is, it makes sense now. And I can just be that person that like preaches to you to like go read it. But just right now, I, I don't know what I'm reading, but I'm having fun. So I'm gonna keep reading it. Um, I We put on our, I shared on my Instagram story that <laughs> I was starting this buddy read and I was, um, let me find her because I want to shout her out as well. Fallon. And her Instagram is best bookshelf ever. She DM'd me and was like, yes, yes, you will not be disappointed. Welcome to the Ravenhood. And I was like, okay, good. I've heard nothing but great things. And she says, when I tell you that I read these books in a week, took a week off to recuperate and then read them again, girl get into it so i was like oh okay what what are we gonna get into what are we gonna get into and now that i'm in it i'm like what do we just get into what do we just get into but i'm I'm gonna take her word for it we're pushing through we're figuring out what these books are about and we're reading them um <laughs> but yeah that's all that's all i got for now on this book i just this was a book that i just, i know a, quite a few people have read it and so I just wanted to, I feel like Cecilia right now, where it's like, I don't know anything about anything, but I'm here. And I just want you to know that I'm here. <laughs> so like, don't forget about me. <laughs> Let me be in your cool kids club because I'm here. That's how I feel reading this book. <laughs> Anywho, thank you so much for watching. I don't know what you just watched, but thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If y'all want to see me finish these books and be completely lost, when I come back to you with my thoughts, then just keep coming back because I'm going to finish these books and I'm going to let y'all know how I feel. Uh, <laughs> Do we have a thumbnail? Now we do. <laughs> um, videos come out weekly. I'll see y'all next week. I don't know. Bye. <laughs>